All right, tomorrow night, just before 10 at 9.54, we close the door in summer and open the door to fall. So, what will you put on your front door to celebrate the new season? In Better Living, Nora Murphy of Nora Murphy Country House is showing us an inexpensive way to celebrate autumn at the entrance of your home. Take a look. Happy fall. Guess what we're doing today? We're doing wreaths, fall wreaths, that is. And I'm starting with some recycling. I went to Savers uh, in Danbury, and I found these wreaths that were pretty for its season. But to me, I feel that there's an opportunity with these bases to really get going and, again, to reuse them. So someone had uh, taken these little bunches of flowers, and all their all they're doing is um, they're just wrapped around here. So I'm going to unwrap them. And it's as easy as that. This wreath was $2.99, which is a great, great price for this. And you know, some of these too, you can recycle and put them on some birthday gifts with a pretty ribbon. So it's a good thing. Now here, I got this wreath also. This was a little more expensive. I think a whopping $5.99. And this I already cleaned off. And this is the one I'm going to use for my main fall wreath. Now, what I've done is I went to Michael's and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do flowers uh, for fall. I'm going to do foliage. You know, living here in Connecticut, New England, we're known for our beautiful fall foliage. And, you know, I really wanted to get into that fall mood anyway. So I'm walking around with a bunch of these and everybody's admiring them. And I'm thinking, you know what, this is it. This is the right way to go. So I got some maple leaves, and then I got some, um, I think they're birch, which is more of the yellow, and then some beech leaves, birch and beech, that's easy to remember. And I like mixing up the foliage too because it's different shapes, it's different textures, and different colors, and it just adds more texture, adds more interest. So. We can get started. So this clean wreath is just begging to be filled with branches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking one maple branch at a time. And also keep in mind that when you buy faux florals or foliage, they're usually tight. And what you need to do is always open them up and give them dimension. That's really, really important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this. I'm going to see if I can snip this right at this joint. And you have to kind of work it. Easy like that. Not bad at all. So I'm going to tuck it in. Right now I don't need any wire at all. I'm just going to uh, create the foundation with leaves, just like you would a floral arrangement. And as I'm tucking it in, I'm also turning the leaves so again they have more dimension. And that's pretty set in there. And I'm just going to keep doing that. What I'd like to do instead of another stalk of maple, I'm going to take some of the birch. And I love how they're like layering in on top of each other. So it really looks like you are outside gathering beautiful branches. This will hold up to the rain and it'll take you all the way through Thanksgiving, which is fantastic. Just continue to slide them in, poke them in, and as you're looking at it, you'll see where you need to add. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add smaller branches like that. And I'm going to tuck those in. And right there, that really took care of that hole. And if some are, are not behaving, you can always snip them like this guy. Snip it off and tuck him in. You always have to like stand back and keep looking at what you're working on. That's much better. See how it's like really filling up so beautifully? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these rose hips and here too, I'm going to either pull it out because they're just uh, on wire picks and I'm going to just start 
tucking these guys in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the bittersweet, which will be really, really pretty. So I had extra berries and foliage, and I thought, you know, I had that little wreath that I showed you earlier with the spring flowers, and now it's totally gone autumn. I love this little thing. You could put them on a shed door, on a bathroom door, even lean them on a mantle. And it's just a little touch of autumn for your home. And then the big guy over here, he's going to go out on the front door of our coop. And I'm going to bring out some of my burlap ribbon. And then I'll hang him up for you and see how he looks. So I, I'm going to place this right on the nail that's here. I think that's really, really pretty. And again, once I get it out here, I can, I can adjust it to what I need. Now I have some really pretty burlap wired ribbon. And what I'd like to do is make a bow, because instead of hanging it, since it's pretty high anyway, I'm gonna make a bow so it hangs down like that. That'll be really pretty. And because it's wired, I can kind of play with it a little bit too. So it looks a, a little bit more interesting. And don't be afraid to fuss with your leaves. If you see that some need to be tucked, tuck them in. But they're not going anywhere once you're finished with them. You can always fiddle with them. Happy fall. Absolutely amazing, right? So cool.